Hi guys, so today I have for you my Booktubeathon Day 7 update. Now before I get into this update, I did want to briefly mention uh, yesterday's video and what I was talking about then. First of all, I wanted to say thank you for all the love and support and thank you for saying that I didn't have to post, you know, today if I didn't feel up to it. But I am because I need to keep my mind off things, so I'm going to be posting. I'm not going to cry this video, so don't worry. I thought I would give you all an update in case you were interested. Our dog Rikishi has a spinal injury in which he's currently not being able to use his back legs properly and the two options for him ended up being surgery or medical treatment. Now the surgery he had an 80% chance of surviving however we couldn't afford the $5,000 that the surgery was going to cost and they didn't do any payment plans so they wanted that $5,000 up front and unfortunately we just don't have that kind of money. So we have to go with the medical option which is giving him medicine every day and he has a 50% chance of surviving. He's currently an hour away from me from the minute and that's very hard but if worse comes to worse I'll be there in a heartbeat for him but basically if the medical treatment he has to get better and start using his back legs again and we know it gets bad if it gets worse or if he can't feel pain anymore in that area if he can't feel pain anymore in that area it basically means that the worst has happened and the only real option is to put him down obviously we don't want our family dog in pain and we want what's best for him so right now we're currently trying the medical option and hoping that it works. So I guess now we're just stuck in limbo, just waiting. And honestly, I feel like a zombie. Kishi has meant the world to me. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. I'm not going to, but he's the one person. I say person because he honestly is to me that I can fully rely on 100%. And he is a huge part of my family. So all we can do now is hope. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update on that just in case you were interested. And I thought I owed it to you guys after crying so much last video. So let's get into the actual update. I didn't really read much. The vets didn't have time, honestly. And I wasn't really in the mood. However, when I got home, I just, I couldn't focus on anything else. And so I read and I read and I read. And so I managed to finish Throne of Glass. And then I started Crown of Midnight. And I got how many pages into Crown of Midnight? 192 pages into crown of midnight so finishing throne of glass and starting crown of midnight i managed to read 458 pages i guess you can see where i go when i can't focus on anything else and just need to escape so that brings my total page count to 2341 pages which is incredible i'm really happy with that and also i'm really enjoying the throne of glass series at the minute throne of glass is okay crown of midnight though Yes, yes, loving it, loving it. Also giving you an update of who I am currently shipping, Team Kale. Team Kale all the way. I can't not ship Kale and Selena. Like, ah. Uh, also sorry for butchering the names, I don't know how to pronounce them. The Booktuberfond daily challenge was announced today. Again, sorry for not doing the challenge yesterday. But the challenge was today was to make a book tower your height. And so I'm going to insert it at the end of this video. So I'll say bye and then there'll be me showing you the challenge and what I've done. Uh, that's because I'm entering the competition and it's generally preferred to be at the, like, you know, the last minute of your video. So that's where I'm going to be inserting it. So don't be confused when I say bye. Keep watching if you do want to see the challenge. And I think it's going to be pretty good. I have an idea for it. So hopefully it's good. And hopefully I have enough books. Who am I kidding? <laughs> of course I have enough books. So I am quite tall. So we'll see how it goes. As always, I'd love to know in the comments below how you're going for booktuber fun how many books have you read you know just let me know in the comments below because i do love hearing your updates and they inspire me to keep reading too today is the last day for me however i still be reading until 12 o'clock midnight tonight so there will be tomorrow my booktuber fun wrap up in which hopefully i've managed to read more and so all will be revealed <laughs> tomorrow and i'll also be going through each of the books i read and how many you know pages i totally read just for people who also aren't watching the updates because i know people you know just watch the wrap ups and not the updates so we'll see how it goes but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for my booktuber fun wrap up and thank you for watching and thank you for sticking by me when I'm a blubbering mess to you all. Bye. Okay, so my cameraman Jason is filming and this is forward multiple times, but here is my book tower of my height. My boyfriend says it's my height. So hopefully it is, as you can see. I tried to make books that meant something to me. So Jason, if you want to zoom into the mess of the floor there. However, it didn't quite work out because for some reason it, it just wouldn't, okay? So they all still mean something to me and I'll zoom into each book individually. As you can see, this is my height. We had a few casualties. This all fell on me before. 
I'm pretty sure I have a bruise on my head. I'll get into what the books are now and why they mean something to me. Okay, so first we have the Twilight books, which we don't have Twilight here because it didn't work, okay? Then we have some Vampire Academy books and the rest are there. You see, my original plan was to start with bigger books. That meant something to me. And then, you know, as books got smaller, to put them all on. It didn't work. They all had to be kind of the same height for some reason to work. I also try to include all my Harry Potter books because obviously they mean something to me. The Harry Potter books hate me. They hurt me. They didn't work. Anyway, after that we have Anna and Lola. We have its kind of funny story because I don't know it, it's perfect. We have the Australian Elf and Melissa Keel, which I really like. We have some funny books. We have some new adult books. All of these like are my favourite books, okay? I have a lot more favourites, but they're just going to work. We have Ready Play One, Hunger Games, Dumpling, Paperweight, Akita, Eleanor and Park, Poison Study series, a Friend of Glass series, which I'm currently reading, but I can already tell it's going to be a favourite. We have a couple of Cecilia Ahern books. Again, there was some on that pile, but it didn't work. Then we have my Sailor Moon manga because I love Sailor Moon. And here's where the tower starts to get interesting. When I got to a certain point about halfway around my body, they would not stay. I don't know why, but I had to make them really weird like this. Jason, maybe you can tell us why we had to make it like that. Gravity. Why? Why can't they all just be straight? Ask gravity. <laughs> But I learned that out the hard way. I should have filmed making this, but honestly, this took over an hour of filming. Anyway, after the Sailor Moon manga, we have the Card Captor Sakura manga, which again means something to me. And then we have some manga by Clamp, who are my favourite. They also do Card Captor Sakura, as you can see. And I really like these authors. And then I could only fit one Harry Potter book, but I managed it up in here. And there's another Clamp book because that equaled how tall I was. So this is the tower. It's not straight. It also had to be, it's not leaning on the bookcase. I mean, I'll go like that so you can see. But the bookcase is there for support because otherwise it, it just wasn't going to work. I don't know why. It, it just wasn't. As I said, this fell on me. I had it all done. I'm waiting for my partner to come home so I could show you that it was the same height as me. And they fell. And let me tell you, little chamber was on the pile. And it's my U covers. And Chamber of Secrets had an accident. This was bent. Look at this crease. Look. It happened because it bent. I swear these booktuber font updates are secretly meant just to make you cause a mess and hurt your baby books. And this is like the disaster. Things fell off my bookcase and look at the mess I now have to fix. Look at my bookcases. And now I have to take that apart and I have a feeling just when I take it apart it's all gonna fall but hopefully it doesn't. So yeah the last and final challenge is completed and it took forever. But it's the same height as me, so yay. Yeah.